In today's video, I'm working on a 20 by 10 inch canvas, and I'm going to do a split color double dutch pour with some really beautiful shades of green, beige, and gold. I had this idea from seeing some other people um, do a split color on their canvas, and instead of just doing half white and then half another color like I've done in previous videos, I'm doing white down the middle and then in two different corners I'm doing two different shades of green. So I have a very light green for one corner and then I have a very nice dark green for the opposite corner and then I'll be using other shades of green, gold, and beige for the parts that I'm going to blow out. And I really just wanted to do something different. I haven't done greens like this. So I just wanted to see how it would turn out. And I had this really beautiful shade of gray green, which I'm putting down first, and it looked really, really nice. So I really wanted to try out this color. I have each of my colors mixed with Floetrol and water. I'm using about two to three parts Floetrol to one part paint, and then I just slowly add water until it's the consistency that I want for pouring. And I'm just going to use my palette knife to smooth the paint out in each corner and then I'll add my white to the middle. And then in the opposite corner I have a much darker shade of green, but it also kind of has a grayish tint to it so it matches a little bit to that lighter gray green color. Once I had my greens down, I just put some white paint down the middle of my canvas and again I just used my palette knife to smooth that out. And once I had a really nice even coat of paint, I just started adding my greens along the seam between the green and the white. And then I'm just going to take my hair dryer that I have with the nice little concentrator and blow that out. Overall this dried really well and I really really like the varying color or varying shades of green that I used and that gold really really pops well. I think uh, what I consider to be the bottom of the painting which is the dark green area I don't like as much as I do with that lighter green up top so I may try a split color again and just use that gray green color which was a Liquitex Basics and it was just a really, really beautiful shade of green and I'm glad I tried it out in this piece. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you have other color palettes you'd like to see, especially in a really nice split color Dutch pour like this, let me know. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I do post two videos a week, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you all in the next video.